a web developer, I get comps like this all the time from my designer, right? They make them in Photoshop, which is an awesome tool for designing websites. But it's not so great for me as a web developer, because now I have to go in and like, figure out all the stuff that my designer did, right? I have to you know, figure out, like, what's hey, this gradient? Happens. Well, maybe it's a layer effect, or sure. maybe it's you know, got some shape fill thing that I have to like, figure out what its stops are. And I have to dig around and figure out all the fonts. And then I have to take all of the, uh, the layout information by measuring it. And I have to take these bitmaps and, and extract them into you know, different files on my hard drive and all that stuff. So we showed some cool workflows in the keynote for getting uh, Photoshop comps into Reflow and onto disk. But we wanted to explore what would it look like to put those tools in uh, something that web developers use every day, their tool of choice, which is a code editor. So let's actually put Photoshop entirely here. Has a last and I'm going to go into my code editor here. Oh. And we're going to use this feature that we're calling PSD Lens. So I'm going to open that it's exact same share. Photoshop file. But it's going to show up here in my code editor. Now, this isn't just a preview. Mm -hmm. I can actually mouse over individual layers here to see what all the different layers are in the Photoshop file. And you'll see that if I actually select one, then I get measurement information. So I can see, like, oh, it's 99 pixels from the side, or it's like you know, 19 pixels from the top here, right? So that's cool. I can start using that to write some layout code. But now let me start writing some style code for my, uh, for my nav here. So again, you know, I got this nav thing, and I have to figure out like, what's the font it's using, and what's the size, and like, what's the spacing, and all that stuff. So normally, I'd have to dig around in the type tool in Photoshop. But here, using PSD Lens, because I have this selected in the view, if I go up into my code editor, I can use code hints. And the code hints show me exactly what's the font. Oops. What's the font? What's the font size? Uh, you know, what's the line height? I can just pull it straight out of my Photoshop file without ever having to open Photoshop. OK, that's cool. And you know, I can put this code anywhere. I don't have to, you know, it's not telling me where to write the code. Like, I can put the font up here or whatever. So I'm just writing code, and I'm just pulling out the information I need. All right, let's do something a little more challenging. I've got this, uh, this gradient here. So now I want to do the same thing. So I'm going to write a selector for that. And now again, because now I have that gradient selected, um, I can bring up my code hints. And now you can see that it actually gives me the gradient information. Gives me the border radius. Yeah. And then I can ignore the stuff I don't want. I don't want the width and height. I'll just leave it off, right? Yeah. All right. Hey, Woo! it gets better. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It gets better. It gets better. <laughs> gets better. Please silence for the final act. This is really awesome. Yeah. I know. I think it's cool anyway. All right. So now I've got to work on this logo. And again, this is like a bitmap layer in Photoshop, right? So I have to pull that out into a file on the hard drive. So again, I don't want to have to go back into Photoshop and fiddle with all that stuff. I can bring up my code hint again. And actually, let me bring open the sidebar. So this is showing the files in my project right now. And pay attention to that. So now I bring up my code hint with this logo selected. And you'll see that it has a background URL here. When I select that, you can see that it actually created a folder in my project with that logo already in it. Oops. And it, just to show I'm not cheating, if I go into Finder, you can see that that image is actually here in my project, right? So I can do it again. I can do it with the hero image here. Uh, you know, if I want to write the hero rule, I can do that. And I can pull it out. Again, there it is. It's in my project. It's on my hard drive. So it's a really smooth workflow. I can open a Photoshop file. I can get the info I need out of it. I can pull images out. Uh, I never have to go into Photoshop, and I stay totally in control of the code. So thank you. MJ! Thank you.